This year has undoubtedly been one of the best years for gaming ever. So many great games by hard-hitting developers and smaller development teams as well. This list seemed to be endless this year and I struggled to narrow it down to my top 5, but I managed to create a personal list of games that really stuck out from the crowd for me. Just bear in mind that these are my personal 5 best games of 2018 that I personally played. If your favourite isn't on the list, it may be because I didn't manage to play it this year. I wouldn't feel right about putting a game on the list that I didn't actually personally experience myself, I'm sure you can understand. And before we start the list, I would like to ask you that if you enjoy this video, you can share it with a friend. I won't ask for subs or likes, because if you want, you'll do that anyway. But sharing my videos does make a big difference, so thank you in advance for helping me out that way. And with that out of the way, let's begin the list. We live in a world of assassins. And the best of them all is Agent 47. Hitman 2 is a game that doesn't do much to expand on its predecessor, but I don't think that's a bad thing at all. The previous Hitman was a great game, going back to its blood money roots and dropping the player into huge murder filled sandboxes, giving them the choice on how to complete the mission. Hitman 2 is more of the same, with more maps, tweaks to gameplay, and includes the first game in the package for good measure. Why fix something that isn't broke? Shadow of the Colossus isn't technically a new game, but this 2018 remaster was one of the biggest nostalgia trips that I had this year. It's a true classic, and it was amazing to play through its immersive and mysterious story once again. It combines fantastic gameplay that switches between horse riding and stamina climbing sections as you hunt these huge majestic creatures down, climbing huge colossi and holding on for dear life as it desperately tries to shake you off before you land the final fatal blow into its skull is an experience no one who has ever played this game will ever forget. This is a remaster done right of a game that is timeless. Fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. It came as no surprise to anybody that Red Dead Redemption 2 was an amazing game, a story-driven masterpiece of a Wild West experience by one of the most well-known and beloved development teams in the world. Rockstar not only pushed the boundaries, but created all new ones with Red Dead 2. Its mastercrafted story, its enticing gameplay, interesting characters, amazing voice acting and an open world full of life and exploration. It sets a benchmark for all future games that will be measured against it in all aspects and the development team need to be commended for their achievements here. Rockstar did an amazing job. So why is it not higher on this list? Pretty much because of the online mode that launched a month later. No matter how incredible this game is, I have such a sour taste in my mouth because of that goddamn multiplayer mode. Maybe it isn't fair to judge them as a complete package, but it's something that I just can't forget. I will always remember how awful, broken, boring and repetitive and manipulating Red Dead Online is when I think about Red Dead Redemption 2. And no matter how awesome and amazing and fantastic the single player is, I had such a good time with it. The online cost this game the top spot on my list this year. I knocked it all the way down from 1 to 3 just because of the multiplayer mode. It's a tragedy when I think about it, but it's still one of the best games of the year. So let's try to forget the online ever existed. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? The city is in danger. It needs our help. All of our help. In the midst of an exemplary Marvel decade of filmmaking, Insomniac took it upon themselves to break the line of poor Spider-Man games that we've had in the last few years, and they did it in spectacular fashion. Spider-Man 2018 is a game that takes what we love most about Spider-Man and lets us experience it firsthand. The smooth, acrobatic web swinging, the fast-paced combat and the real lives of the hero behind the mask. Stepping into Peter Parker's shoes has never been this satisfying, even since the PlayStation 2 version of Spider-Man 2. 
The stunning gameplay all surrounds an expertly told story surrounding the lives of Peter and his arachnid alter ego, as well as the people who are around him, such as his family, and even fleshing out the villains that he fights. This truly is the best Spider-Man game to date. I'll show some honourable mentions on the screen now. As I've said this year, we've had so many great games that it was hard to narrow down to just five. Any of these would make a great addition to anyone's collection. Pokemon Go is a great walk down memory lane for anyone who played Pokemon Yellow back in the day. It's a true nostalgia trip for fans and a great introduction for someone who's never played Pokemon before. True to formula, Monster Hunter World is a fantastic RPG for new players and loyal fans alike. Hours of fun hunting huge creatures in this stylish open world by Capcom. A Way Out is a corp game the way it's meant to be played. Sat next to your friend on the couch with a pizza with a good narrative unfolding before you. Great fun with a friend. And finally Spyro, another trip down memory lane. It does just enough to feel familiar, but brings Spyro into the modern world. This is a must buy for fans, and a great introduction for someone who is new to Spyro. You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. Everyone expected greatness from God of War, but what we got was beyond our expectation. It took such a detour from the traditional God of War formula that the whole experience felt refreshing despite the fact that this is the fourth instalment of the series. I could go on forever about how amazing this game is, but I have a full review on this channel which says all you need to know, so go and check that out if you want. But basically, the direction change of Kratos' character and sudden responsibilities craft his now altered narrative, which give his actions even more meaning and weight as he trains and cares for his young son. His thrilling adventure, combined with action-packed gameplay and smooth and carefully crafted finish to every single detail in this game, makes it my personal game of the year. It's truly incredible and it deserves to be remembered as the best game of 2018 and quite possibly the decade as well. Anyway, thanks for giving this video a watch. That was my personal top five games of 2018. Let's see what 2019 brings us. Let's hope it's as good. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you next time.